The Nigerian government adopted a whistleblower policy as part of its anti-corruption strategy to gather information on illicit wealth by both politically and non-politically exposed persons. The strategy paid off as some of those that volunteered information that led to the recovery of looted funds and questionable properties were either rewarded or yet to be rewarded by those with misleading information are facing the full wrath of the law. Convert operations by the anti-graft agencies as a result of information by whistleblowers has led to the recovery of over 605 billion naira. The Minister of Finance, Zainab Ahmed, attested to these facts. Some states still have outstanding balances which will be funded in due course. Let me close by saying that I look forward to expanding on these issues that I have raised and other development issues during our interactive session. So let me assure you that there is no single entity that is above the law. While we borrow for the government, subject to receipt of necessary approvals, uh, the government, through its borrowing activities, also supports the development of the market and in particular, you know, trying to create uh, securities that uh, investors, you know, want to invest in to match their, their liabilities. The minister, while assuring of government's commitment to pay states yet to receive the Marie Club debt reforms, said the Nigerian foreign exchange account has skyrocketed significantly. The Nigerian government, however, assured that all looted funds from the National Treasury will be recovered and put to use for the benefit of all. Palum David, CNN News.